Hello everybody! In this Valheim video, we're going to download and upload buildings. Yes, in Valheim, using a little bit of mods, you can save buildings or load buildings that other people have made. And Let's really open it and just add everything. I'm actually going to add a bit extra, see what it does. And then boom. Oh, look at that. It's, it's just building it. Whoa, that's so cool! It's just like in Dragon Quest Builders. And what's really cool about this is after the buildings in the game, you don't actually need the mod anymore. So you could use this mod to build a server and then anybody with regular Valheim can play on the server. I'm on Valhemians, a website I'll talk to you more about later in the video. But for now, we're gonna look for a nice cool looking thing that's small. Let's pick this one by Mutant Art Cat, a regular poster here. All we gotta do is go down and click Download Valheim Build. There we go, I got the file. And now I'm in the file that I downloaded and I'm copying everything. This part here that says config, and then this plan build, and then blueprints. And this is where you just dump all these files here we are in Valheim now, and all I have to do is look at this. So I'm equipping a special item right now. You can see it's like a tablet. But what is this cloud of white? And what if I go right here? Boom. Look at that. Have you ever seen something get built so fast? In one click, this whole building is now here. And it's fully functioning, like I can go in it, explore it, look around. It's... Now, you might ask, okay, but that kind of takes all the fun out of the game. And again, this is really something you're supposed to do when you're building a server, not when you're just playing Valheim. But you can do this in a way that doesn't ruin your own server, and I'll show you that. So, so you can see that there's this kind of ghost house, right? And if I walk closer to it, you can see I can interact here. I can add materials. I can hold E to add all the materials from my inventory. So the idea, you find cool builds that you want to use online, ideally on a web on this Valhemian's website, and then you put it in your game world with this mod, and then you go and collect the resources and kind of come here and just add them. It's the same kind of thing that is used in Dragon Quest Builders, if you've ever played that game. So Before we get too much more into this, there's a few basic dev commands that you'll need to know because they're incredibly useful. So first is force delete. If I open the console and I type force delete, and then a number, I'm going to use 800. It will just eliminate everything, even if it's from a mod, even if it's directly spawned in. See, all those rocks got destroyed, they disappeared. And then you can use this plan build thing. It gives you this kind of tool, right? There's 11 tools, and one of them is a terrain tool. So you can just go like this, right? And look how big this circle is, it's huge. And it perfectly flattens the terrain, which is actually really important because these builds are incredibly big, and the most frustrating part of placing a build is the terrain. Because Next, we'll head over to the Valhemians website. To get to Valhemians, just go to valhemians.com, and then it'll take you to the homepage. And where it says explore here, you can just go down to builds under content, and then from here, go to the downloads one and then look at downloads, and you can see that there's actually 292. So there's almost 300 different buildings, cities, portal hubs that you can download. Some of them are furnished, others are empty. You kind of have to look at it closer, right? Like, let's look at this Berserker's Keep one. Looks pretty cool, right? Really beautiful. Ah, that looks so pretty. Wow. I want to see what that looks like. Let's download it. This is by... Let's see, who is it by? Create and Inspire. Cool. Download it. Alright, now we're back in Valheim, and I want to look at that really cool house that we... or that castle that we just saw. 
10,000 pieces. Oh, this is quite the castle. I don't know if this field I made here is big enough, but let's see. I'm just going to go for it and hope that that works out. It's a great way to illustrate things. As you can see, stuff's kind of breaking at first, but give it a couple seconds here. It's going to be all laggy for like probably like 20 seconds. There we go. Dude, this is a beautiful castle. Holy shit. You see what I mean? Like, the people... How long... It must have taken... Even, even with dev commands, building something like this... I mean, the attention to detail is just insane. Just from the outside. This thing is beautiful. Look at all these arches. Can I go up on top of it? I mean, let, let's see. How... How's the function of this place? Oh, double doors, double protected. Okay, I like that. Get rid of this UI, I don't need that. Whoa, it's functioning. Dude, this place is epic, holy shit. Cool jumping stairs, okay, okay, interesting. So we go up, up top here. Wow, oh man, this is crazy. <laughs> this thing's so cool, and this is only one of hundreds of crazy, crazy, amazing builds. So imagine what you could do by building a server using all of this stuff. But how do you make the blueprints? Because I've just been showing you how to totally ruin your own building self-esteem by seeing the amazing, incredible things that other people on the internet build. But what about the stuff that you built that you want to save? Well, it's quite easy, actually. I'll show you that now. All you do is use this tool, click on the thing. You sort of have to make a radius. You click, and then boom. If you see behind it, see how everything's highlighted in green? So it highlighted everything in this circle in green. That's a buildable item. And then I get to name it Wallace Hut. Wallace Hut. <laughs> and then you save it, and then boom. If I want to go into my blueprints, I can look there and then see Wallace Hut. Look at that. I can just place it wherever I want. Let's put it, I don't know, inside this rock right here. Boom, I got one. Now, I've shown you a whole bunch of stuff and I don't want to overwhelm you, but I will now show you how to use some of the basic tools that the mod adds and then after that, I'll show you how to install the mod, because if you're watching the video to this point, I mean, you obviously want to use this, you know, try it out. So when you download the mod and install it, it's going to add the option of building this blueprint rune and this plan hammer. And then everything you do is done with the blueprint rune. See, I just equipped it, and you can see my character has this snazzy looking rune he's wearing, right? And I unequip it. And it's just like the hoe or anything else. If you right click, you get all these other options, right? So you can see that there's tools, a clipboard, and then my blueprints. So I can create the new blueprint. I can do all sorts of different stuff. The main ones here to keep in mind are create new blueprint and the terrain tool, which is like how you can level a whole area and make it perfectly flat, see? take away all of the elevation difference and just make a flat area. Now we'll illustrate some of the other tools that you can use, such as the plan build hammer and the automatic builder. I'm going to place a blueprint. I'll just use a little a little one that I made here, right? This little guy. You place the blueprint and it sort of makes a floating version that you can walk through, it makes a ghost, right? And if you see here, say that you wanna edit this ghost, that's when you use this plan hammer tool. And now I can select the items, and if I click on them, they'll just disappear. So say I don't want these secret hidden chests in the ground here, I can just click on them, and then boom, they don't exist anymore, they're gone. And if we go into our regular hammer, and look at the stuff we can build, we'll see that there's actually a couple different items. We have this plan totem, right? And then also, we have this standing blueprint rune here. 
And then we have this blueprint rune library, which is a smaller sort of pile of blueprints, right? So let's start with the plan totem. You can just open it up, it's a container. And it shows you the required materials that you need to build this structure. So let's see what happens if we add these materials. All right, now I have a full inventory of all of the things that we need. Let's open it and just add everything. I'm actually gonna add a bit extra, see what it does. And then boom, oh, look at that, it's, it's just building it. Whoa, that's so cool. It's just like in Dragon Quest Builders. Wow, I didn't know about this. That's super cool. Ha, <laughs> beautiful, I love it. So you don't have to actually go manually place everything. You can just build one of these plan totems and then fill the little chest here up with everything that it needs. And then it looks like it's actually gonna sort of, you can also use this totem to, to fix it once it breaks. Come over here and then just dump all this extra stuff in. And then look, it just fixes the roof. Now we have these blueprint things. And these allow you to share blueprints through the game instead of downloading them from the website, which is really cool. Obviously, it's only gonna work with players who have the mod installed and on a dedicated server that also is running that mod. So you would need to do more to get these to function properly, right? It's not just gonna share them automatically with a player who doesn't have the mod. Now, if you wanna download the mod, then there's a bit of installation you'll need to do. If you're not familiar with modding in Valheim, then most mods are created with this kind of framework called BEP in X. First, download and install BepinX pack for Valheim. Next, get Hookgen Patcher, Jotun, and Plan Build. Once you've downloaded everything, here's where you need to put all the files. So first off, BepinX is going to go directly into the Valheim data folder. You can find this usually in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Valheim. Once you've installed BepinX, then inside the BepinX folder is this Plugins folder. This is where you would extract Jotun, Plan Build, and the third hook sort of patch. In addition, you should know where the folder is to put blueprints in. It's in this BepinX folder, and then under config, and then in the plan build file folder, there is a folder called blueprints. In addition to that, you'll also get used to using this config area here, because this is where all of the mods configuration text files go. The most important one that you need to know about plan build is that per default, when you download the mod, it will just make a, a sort of hologram, a ghost of the building, so that you can build it yourself or using the ward that I showed in the video. However, if you're server building and you just wanna directly place these buildings, you need to open this text file and instead of planned, this value needs to be set to direct. There's a bunch of other settings here that you can change, but really the most important one for a beginner is this one. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm excited to see what you can do. You can use this feature, this mod, in order to save your building. So if you wanna move a building to a whole new server to use the new Mistlands World Gen, you can do that without losing all the stuff that you've already built. And if you wanna support my work, then please consider checking out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated server. 
If you do end up doing this, or you have your own dedicated server that you'd like me to check out or show me, then please comment below and let me know. I love seeing the kinds of things that people make that people can access in Valheim.